half mile point yes it's true is up on the move eternal camnation has been out all the way under a tight rain on the inside in the top four is hawaiian flash following up holding court is five mares back and walk on the beach is following up in sixth only the best starting up seventh on the outside ahead of aquatic yankee second to last was ramalette hanover then lifetime member was trailing yes it's true took over the lead from sanibel island still out there is eternal camnation and incredible tempo 55 and four to the half yes Yes, it's true is the leader. Sanibel Island tracking along in second. Eternal Cam Nation getting the test of her life this night. On the inside fourth is Hawaiian Flash and fifth staying off the speed is holding court over to the three quarter mile station. Only the best is kicked in. She's sixth at the outside. Walk on the beach from seventh. Third from last was Aquatic Yankee then Ramalette Hanover and lifetime member Eternal Cam Nation takes over from yes it's true 124. And one-fifth was the three-quarter mile rating, 28 and two in the third split. Eternal Cam Nations looking to steal a breather now on the way to the mile. Yes, it's true is second. Sanibel Island tipped up again from third. Inside fourth for holding court and uh, now spotting second over. Holding court went out to the flank of Hawaiian Flash. Walk on the beach, only the best, sixth and seventh. And then it's back to Aquatic Yankee, Ramalette Hanover and lifetime member Eternal Cam Nation being stalked by Sanibel Island. And yes, it's true. 152 and 4 was the mile time eternal cam nation yes it's true sanibel island these are the top three at the head of the stretch and rolling out widest of all is only the best they're in the lane eternal cam nation yes it's true is tipped out for the drive final eighth of the mile in the classic distaff yes it's true eternal cam nation yes it's true and campbell take over the deep stretch lead eternal cam nation went a great trip for second but the classic distaff final 2001 yes it's true over eternal cam nation walk on the beach brushed in third sanibel island was fourth 235 and four smashing the world record yes it's true did it at woodbine dermot driven to victory by john kimball that's her 11th win in 14 starts this year and she set a world record at the distance of a mile and three eighths for the older mares in the 2001 Classic to Staff Final, 235 and four fifths. Nancy and Norm Clements with the Winner's Circle presentation. Norm Clements, past owner of the legendary Cam Fella. Thanks to Nancy and Norm Clements for joining us at Woodbine during your newlywed week and for the 2001 Classic Series Winner's Circle presentation. Another world record falls here tonight in the Classic Distaff, and John Campbell connecting for a second win tonight. Uh, John, let's talk about the trip. Uh, it didn't certainly come easy. No, I had to use her to, to make the front, and then uh, I did get covered up uh, the back half from Eternal Cam Nation, which was a real good cover and carried me right into the stretch and, and was certainly the, the mare to beat going into the race. So, uh, no, I was happy about that. But uh, mile three eights, you got to use them sometime, and, uh, but she did respond well in the stretch. Uh, you were saying off camera, too, that you had some tough luck at the Meadowlands. Uh, you had to be pretty confident coming in tonight. Well, I thought she'd race well. You just don't know how uh, how the trip's going to go or even where you're supposed to be at a mile and three-eighths. Uh, so, but I was sure she'd race well, but uh, you just never know how the trip was going to work out. And it worked out well enough, and, and she responded very well. Okay, John, congratulations. We're going to let you go. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much. That's John Campbell, the winning driver. Kevin McDermott with me, uh, the trainer. And, uh, Kevin, the last time we saw her here at Mohawk, she just wasn't herself. Tell us about that. Uh, we, we shipped her up here three days before the race, and after the race we scoped her, and she was just sick as a dog. We gave her three weeks off. We gave her an easy race at the Meadowlands. Raced her from behind last week, and uh, she went open at the Meadowlands, and she had the best week of her life. I really thought she'd win tonight. I had a lot of confidence in her, and here we are. What's the next step for her? Uh, Friday night's Lady Liberty at the Meadowlands. Six days. They got to ship right back tomorrow morning, and then uh, you know she has a Breeders' Crown, and everything else for the rest of the year. All right. Congratulations. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. John, this is for you. <laughs> All right. A very happy Kevin McDermott winning trainer. Let's take a look at the prices from that eighth race. Thank you.